Get ready to be fascinated as we set out on an epic adventure through Europe's monumental mega tunnel, where engineering marvels soar to new heights and architectural wonders converge. Join us as we reveal the untold mysteries behind this astounding mega project and prepare to be amazed by a world below the surface that redefined engineering. Welcome to Top Futuristic. Today, we'll introduce you to Europe's monumental mega tunnel, a construction marvel that redefines transportation, transcends boundaries, and brings nations closer together than ever. Join us as we peel back the layers of this enormous undertaking to reveal its fascinating history, staggering statistics, and the brilliant minds who conceived it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell to stay updated with our videos. The Femarn Belt, a 20-kilometer long body of water that separates the island of Femarn from Denmark's south coast, is located close off the German mainland. A tunnel connecting the two nations is being built, and once complete, it will complete a transcontinental highway that will carry hundreds of thousands of travelers annually and bring in billions of dollars in income. The Femarn Belt Tunnel, now under construction, would span the Baltic Sea's 18-kilometer wide, which is 11-mile, Femarn Belt and connect the German island of Femarn with the Danish island of Lolland. It will serve as the world's longest road and train tunnel, connecting northern Germany directly to Lolland and from there to the Danish island of Zealand and Copenhagen. The tunnel will serve as a crucial link between Scandinavia and Central Europe. It will reduce the time. It takes to travel between Lolland and Femorn from 45 minutes by ferry to 10 minutes by automobile and 7 minutes by train, excluding waiting and boarding time. The electrified high-speed rail line will be capable of reaching speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. The initial cost projection for the project was 5.5 billion euros. This had increased to 7.4 billion euros by 2010 when Denmark and Germany inked the agreement to construct the bridge. Denmark will pay for the tunnel through tolls that it will levy at the crossing. For the crossing to be linked to its road system, Germany will spend an additional 800 million euros. The extensively used ferry route, known in German as the Vogelfluglinie and in Danish as Vogelfluxlingen, between Rabi and Puttgarden, which is currently run by Scanlines, will be replaced by the tunnel. But a tunnel wasn't always the plan. The Femarn Sound Bridge has been linking the German island of Femarn to the mainland since 1963. Since then, a frequent ferry service across the strait has allowed access to the Danish island of Lolland. By the late 1990s, feasibility studies for building a bridge across the strait have been designed and completed. Ideas included a bridge that would span two electrified rail tracks and a four-lane highway. For many years, this answer was thought to be the most likely one, and thorough plans were created. However, the Danish project planners announced that an immersed tunnel would instead bring fewer construction hazards and would cost roughly the same in late 2010, following additional feasibility studies. The bridge would have had three cable-stayed spans about 20 kilometers long. Ocean-going ships could have passed beneath the bridge's four pillars, which would have been around 280 meters tall and had a vertical clearance of roughly 65 meters above sea level. Dissing Whiteling was responsible for the bridge link's aesthetic elements and Kawi and Obermeyer were in charge of the bridge link's civil engineering components. Two railroad tracks and four lanes of highway were also included in the proposed design. Femern, AS, the Danish state-owned organization in charge of the link's design and development, announced in December 2010 that a tunnel was preferred, despite the link's initial conception as a bridge. In January 2011, a substantial majority of the Danish parliament endorsed the tunnel idea. The completion date was therefore delayed from 2012 to 2021, to 2024 and 2014, and then to 2028 and 2015. It was eventually postponed until 2029 in 2020. The building bill draft was presented to the Danish parliament in February 2015, and the Danish government, with the cooperation of Germany and Sweden, applied for 1.7 billion euros in EU grants. The Connecting Europe Facility Program of the European Commission awarded Denmark 589 million euros in funding in June 2015, enabling the tunnel project to move forward. The operating business announced the project's subcontractors signing up in March 2017. The size of this project is comparable to that of the Great Belt Bridge or the Orison Bridge, the company in charge of designing and planning the link between Denmark and Germany, Femern, AAS, announced in a report on November 30, 2010, 
that the alignment of the link has been decided and will be located in a corridor east of the ferry ports of Putt Garden and Ribbyhav. Femern AS is a subsidiary of the Danish state-owned Sund and Belt Holding AS. With both of its tracks, the Femarn Belt Fixed Link will reduce the time required to travel by train from Hamburg to Copenhagen from 4 hours and 58 minutes to 3 hours and 15 minutes. There will be one passenger train and two freight trains running in each direction, according to current plans. A freeway already exists between Copenhagen and Hamburg, with the exception of 25 kilometers in Germany, which is a two-lane expressway. A new four-lane Femarn Sound Tunnel with a double-track railroad will take the place of the current narrow Femarn Sound Bridge with two road tubes, one emergency tube, and two rail tubes. The tunnel will have 79 standard components and be 217 meters long. It will be built similarly to the Drogden Trench. In addition, there will be 10 service components, each measuring 85.7 meters in length but differing in width and height in addition to having a basement subfloor for technical equipment. The Trans-European Transport Network Priority Project 20 Railway Axis Femarn Belt which aims to build a high-speed rail line between Copenhagen and Hamburg, has its focal point in the Femarn Belt Tunnel. It connects to the Nordic Triangle Railway or Road Axis, Priority Project 12, the Rezen Bridge or Drogden Tunnel, Priority Project 11, Bremen and Hanover in the south. In order to achieve a minimum top speed of 200 km per hour on all sections, the entire route is now under development and comprises of numerous new railroads to be built and old railways to be upgraded. The 180 km per hour Copenhagen Ringsted line began service on May 31, 2019 and will increase to 250 km per hour by 2023. By 2021, new rails will be installed on Sidbanen, Ringsted to Rappihan, which will be electrified by 2024. To enable trains to reach a top speed of 200 km per hour, the 200 km per hour Femarn Belt Tunnel, Rabihan to Putt Garden, is scheduled for completion in 2028. The Putt Garden to Lubeck Railway will be electrified and upgraded to reach 200 km per hour from the current 100 to 160 km per hour. This portion includes the brand new Femarn Sound Tunnel, which is scheduled to be finished in 2028. The railway between Lubeck and Hamburg will also be upgraded to 200 km per hour. Underwater tunnels are typically bored or immersed, with tunnel boring being common for deep water tunnels longer than 4 or 5 km. Immersion involves dredging a trench across the seafloor, laying a foundation bed of sand or gravel, and lowering precast concrete tunnel sections into the excavation. The Femarn Belt is planned to be crossed by an immersed tunnel which will be the longest ever constructed and surpassed the 13.5 km Marmaray Tunnel of the Bosphorus, Turkey. The project is about five times the size of the Orison Link between Denmark and Sweden, currently the longest immersed concrete tunnel. The deepest section of the Femarn Belt Trench is 35 meters, and the tunnel sections will be about 10 meters high. Dredging will produce a trench of 40 to 50 meters wide and 12 to 15 meters deep, and would require 20 million cubic meters of soil to be dredged. The proposed tunnel will be 17.6 kilometers long, 40 meters deep below the sea's surface, and carry a double-track railway. The precast concrete tunnel sections will have a rectangular cross-section, containing four separate passageways for vehicles and trains. The single-level, sectional arrangement of the two road and rail tubes side-by-side -side coincides with the existing road and rail infrastructure requiring no weaving to connect. Despite the excitement surrounding this project, it has also received a fair share of criticism. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link project has been discussed for over 30 years, initially focusing on Hamburg. However, the Cold War era concept has faced criticism for not connecting Copenhagen and Berlin, nor for connecting Scandinavia to former Warsaw Pact countries. Alternative proposals include the Gedzer Rostock Bridge, which would better connect Eastern Germany and Scandinavia. Local objections include job loss and environmental protectionist concerns. The project also faces concerns about increased traffic, particularly freight trains and economic unjustification. The European Court of Auditors has criticized the planning of the German land connection for allowing uncontrolled costs, while local lobbyists have been allowed to request realignment and noise protection. The Bundesrechnungshof has questioned 
whether the benefits of the project will increase enough to justify the expected costs under economic aspects. The project has also been applauded and supported for some reasons. Swedish politicians have raised concerns about long train travel times between Sweden and Germany and the lack of night trains. The Femarn Belt Fixed Link could improve travel time. In 2020, the Swedish government supported international night trains from Stockholm to mainland Europe, including one from Copenhagen to Hamburg and another from Malmö to Brussels. A commercially operated night train from Stockholm to Berlin began in June 2021. Thank you for coming along with us on this fascinating tour through Europe's monumental mega tunnel, dear viewers. Don't forget to share this video with other thrill seekers that yearn for the extraordinary and to like, comment and enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing adventures that will pique your interest and expand your horizons. Remember to keep pushing the boundaries, discovering the uncharted and enjoying the wonders that await. See you in the next video.